Good evening, Manu. Madame Premier. When are you revealing your plan to implement the four major election promises you campaigned on concerning reducing the size of government, implementing Alberta pension plan, implementing Alberta police force, and meaningful tax cuts? Well, um, so keep that just so I can go through the one at a time. So the first one is uh, cutting the size of government. That, that's the work that uh, Ron and I are going to, to work together on with this committee that I mentioned. And I'll, I'll give you an example of, um, so Nate Horner, myself, and Nate Glubish are going to be co-chairs on it. And, and one of the things that we've discovered is that technology is going to be very key. We, we, we had a system in land titles where uh, we had to hire 60 people because it was a paper-based system just to clear the 110-day backlog. But we've given $60 million to, to Dale so that he can make a, an electronic system like they have in Saskatchewan so it can be transferred in a day. Those are the kinds of things that we're looking at. And so through the process, that will be the way that I think we're, we're going to be able to identify a lot of areas that, that we can automate and start and start reducing cost. And we're already well on our way with um, with healthcare. We, we talked, we had to address the biggest problem first. And as soon as we get everybody connected to a family doctor, that will start paying uh, dividends in less pressure on our hospitals. And as soon as we get patients in the right place so that they're not in acute care beds in the hospital, they're in mental health facilities or addiction facilities or long-term care, that will also reduce the cost. Because when you think about it, if you're in a hospital bed, it's costing about $1,500 a day. If you're in a long-term care facility, it's costing $150 a day. So those are the major changes that we're going to make. What was your second one? Uh, pension plan. Pension plan, as I mentioned, we uh, had uh, we had unfit, unanswered questions for people when our polling suggested that people wanted to know what the actual transfer value is. We're getting that in October, and then we'll go out and do another round of uh, consultations. And if people want to vote on it, they'll vote on it, and then we'll uh, let the chips fall where they may. What's the next one? The next one is the police force. Police force. We, we just passed a bill, Bill 11, in the spring session, making the sheriffs police. So they now have policing powers, and I can tell you, they are responsible right now for surveillance of the bad guys. They do SCAN, which is uh, shutting down drug houses, and they also do fugitive apprehension. And they just had some major successes in the last uh, six months in being able to, to track down these bad guys, get them behind bars. We also are uh, creating a special fentanyl team, special uh, cross-border team. We have uh, told anyone, uh, if they're interested, we would set up a sheriff's detachment in their community, and we've had a couple of municipalities want to do that. And then in addition, like right here in Grand Prairie, we, we funded a study so that the local council could determine what policing was best for them, and they just determined to set up their own municipal police force. So they're in a five-year process to move away from RCMP and move into provincial policing. And so we've made that available to any municipality. If you want to study, we'll give you the, the dollars and you can decide. So we're, we're trying to let that go from the, from the bottom up. And last one. Is tax cuts. Tax cut, oh, we're going to accelerate that. As I said, talk to Ron Weeb. He's, he's going he's gonna to work on finding those savings and, and, we'll, and we're going to accelerate that. I don't pay over taxes. <laughs> Get, get enough from uh, your pension plans yeah. to qualify to pay over the tax. Thank but you. That's, a, that's a good thing that we don't tax you if yeah. you make under 20000 a year. <laughs> that's one of our